Hey there, I'm just going to do a little walkthrough of this thing that I put together, uh, publishing from Tinderbox, the Devon Think document. And let's see, I'll scroll down, download this thing, and open it in Tinderbox. I don't know why it opens all these windows, but it does, at least on mine. So now I shouldn't have anything else. Um, Go uh, go ahead and create two notes. We'll say note one and note two. And we'll say note one links to note two. Use the text link to go there. And then note two links back to note one. So now I'm going to publish these two together using the stamp. And the reason I'm going to publish them together is because one's going to go before the other one. I don't know which, which means that one of the links isn't going to work, but one link should work. And so that'll just kind of demonstrate what's happening. So I publish it to Dev and Think, and these go into my um, main database or into the global inbox. And so when we look at note one, We'll see that it has this weird link to note 2. I guess note 2 may have gotten published before. When we look at note 2, you'll see it's saying that it's go to note 1. So I can click go to note 1, but if I click go to note 2, it doesn't work. Um, so let's just look at the difference between the source. You see this, the exported, or the href is this exported thing from Tinderbox. It's just a typical path. But then if we look at note 2 here, the path has gotten replaced with this x Devon think item link, which is kind of how Devon think does its magic. So the reason that uh, the first one didn't work is because the other note didn't have uh, the source URL attribute, which got added automatically. Um, but if I publish them both again, then we'll see that note one now has a Devon think. Link note two also has a Devon Think link, and I can go from one to the other. So that's the basics of how this thing works.